So I'm sure for some of you, as you could tell by the title, I am unfortunately the first person to break the news that yes, Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed yet again. Although there is some not as bad news in that this is the shortest delay thus far with just a three week delay of 21 days in total. So the new official release date of Cyberpunk 2077 is December 10th. This was officially announced on Twitter in what is an all too familiar yellow box again. I feel like we're all gonna be terrified anytime CD Projekt Red decides to use the yellow box for other announcements in the future, but more or less what they say here is that they've decided to move the release date by 21 days to December 10th. They know people will have some emotions about this and they do right off the bat apologize for it. And they explain how the biggest challenge for us right now is shipping the game on current gen, next gen, and PC at the same time, which requires us to prepare and test nine versions of it. That being the Xbox One, the Xbox One X, the Xbox Series X, the Xbox Series S, the PS4, PS4 Pro, PS5, PC, and Stadia. We actually just heard a couple of weeks ago that they were going to be launching on Stadia the same day as consoles and PC. And they go on to mention how they're preparing these nine test versions all the while working from home. And since Cyberpunk 2077 has evolved towards almost being a next gen title along the way, we need to make sure everything works well and every version runs smoothly. Where where it may seem unrealistic when someone says that 21 days can make any difference in such a massive and complex game, but they really do. And actually something I'm pretty happy they pointed out. They also talk about the gold mastering, or how Cyberpunk 2077 was recently revealed to have gone gold. They do clarify how this does in fact mean the game is ready and has all of the content in it, but at least in modern times, it doesn't mean work is stopped. As following the going gold point, work continued for what would end up making up a day one patch, or really day zero patch as they describe here. And they simply describe how the time period they required for this additional work after going gold was under calculated. Ending it off with how they feel they have an amazing game on their hands and they're willing to make every decision, even the hardest ones, if it ultimately leads to you getting a video game you'll fall in love with. So the end of this all meaning that Cyberpunk 2077 is now 44 days away from release but from the 23 days it originally was before this announcement. So now of course, there's been a wide range of reactions to this. A ton of support for CD Projekt and Cyberpunk, CD Projekt themselves, and really Cyberpunk directly has become a fan favorite. So it's expected they're gonna get a lot of support in the wake of this, but of course, some frustrations. You always get those comments of people frustrated how they already took off this week from work, and hey, the April and September clubs definitely share your frustration. But it seems like with this particular one, there's a lot of additional frustration because CD Projekt was so adamant and said numerous times on social media channels and even things like conference calls with investors how Cyberpunk 2077 would not be delayed again. Actually, they just literally said yesterday the game would not be delayed again. And even using some snarky quotes like it would take a natural disaster for the game to get delayed again, where clearly that wasn't the case. Now to bring the level-headed response to this, what's probably going on is their managers internally are adamant that things won't get delayed. So then the social media team is set to put that out there into the world and that's why you're getting responses like this, where the decision on the delay comes from the higher ups, although that doesn't necessarily explain the responses at financial meetings. And you could also see some rising backlash from the perspective of crunch. The crunch story was a big and controversial one in that last year they said there wouldn't be crunch, but then due to what happened with 2020, there would have to be some crunch. Now, of course, hypothetically, this means the crunch will be going on a bit longer. As an employee, it's probably pretty difficult to hear that, oh, there's only 23 days left, maybe even making plans about what you're going to do in the wake of the release, but then obviously gets pushed back closer to the holidays now. And overall with this one, it's kind of one of those ones where I feel like it's understandable from both perspectives. For me personally, I don't mind waiting. Obviously things happen. We are in an unprecedented time and year, but you definitely do feel for those employees who are now going to be working on this game and hypothetically crunching for a bit longer. I expect over the next couple of days, we'll see the discussion on this continue. I think it's going to be pretty polarizing. You'll see those crunch arguments pop back up and people concerned about what's happening with that or why didn't they delay it to avoid crunch. And of course, the numerous restatements that there weren't going to be any more delays, as this does mark the third time Cyberpunk 2077 was delayed, although at least each one's getting shorter and shorter. And personally, as a veteran of Khabib Tony, I feel pretty well equipped to deal with this trauma. But honestly, I think one of the other reasons that this is going to really blow back or a lot of people will be frustrated is it is unprecedented in another way that many games after going gold don't get delayed again. And really just many games don't get delayed this many times, especially for the size and hype level of Cyberpunk. 
there's probably going to be a lot of back and forth as to how much of the blame is on COVID and working remote and how much on the blame is on poor management, but I don't really have much to say on that. I simply don't know the right answers. It could be poor management, or it could just be really unforeseen circumstances or an unfortunate series of events. As far as future delays, I have to imagine this is the last one, and I actually feel pretty confident in that. One, because if there was another one, we'd probably have actual riots, but two, because if this was going to get delayed into 2021 and miss the holiday season, I think the stock price would take a fairly notable hit. That's obviously something a publicly traded company like CD Projekt will very much so want to avoid. So really, that's all there is on this one. It's not like we have a ton of new information on this, just that quote from CD Projekt, but hopefully I could provide some context and background, some explanation as to why there's the frustration, some hope as to why this hopefully is the last delay. If nothing else, maybe this means we'll get two more Night City wires. At some point, they have confirmed we will be seeing console footage, which I again think is going to be a big telling point. I think that could be a likely candidate for the next Night City wire, so it's definitely something to look forward to. But with all that being said, as always again, I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.